hello, welcome. A uh, little update. Uh, um, there's basically a new addition to the fleet. That's the first part of this, and it is like I've been after for ages 47 522 Duncaster Enterprise. Saw it on eBay and had some spare pennies, so I thought, yep, I'll have that because I've not actually seen one at the swap meets. You'll probably find now though, every swap meet I go to, I'll probably see one. But I've been after this one because I've got 33008, which is Eastley, which is called the town that I grew up in, which is a, uh, an old railway town. And I now live in Doncaster, which is which, which is my, my hometown, has been for the last 14 and a half years. So I wanted one with Doncaster, so I've got that um, for that. So I've got Doncaster Enterprise now. I've been after this one for a while. I saw it and thought, yep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab that. So uh, not, not a bad little runner either. It's uh, not too bad. Um, now, um, I don't know if I mentioned this on a previous video, but my Backman 158 and my Turbo Star I both developed this thudding noise when they were running. If you're on a train that has a flat spot on the um, one of the wheels, you get that like thud, 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 thud noise. Well, it was doing that, and um, I looked up the price of um, getting some replacement um, bogey towers, and then I spotted a complete chassis on eBay. Um, it's uh, it's for the for the three car one five eight, which is the centre car drives it, but the chassis is identical to what goes under the um, the driving ends. So I managed to pick that up, and now I have a nice smooth running one five eight. The only thing I had to do, obviously, was um, refit the light the light circuit off the old chassis which i mean i've kept because now i've got a, i've got spare motor and linkages as well um and spare sprockets so anyway i've got my 158 and it's not making that horrible thudding noise it was doing but it's absolutely beautiful now so i'm quite happy with that but also my turbo star was doing the same thing so yeah my turbo star was doing the same thing um so I now have a nice quiet turbo star because basically because I replaced the whole chassis on the 158 I did I had some some spare axles so what I did was narrowed it down to the offending axle on here popped a new axle in and so now I've got two that run nicely now without no horrible thudding noises on the track Still got a little bit of a noise, but not as bad as it was. It's just a little. But it's not as bad because it used to. When it got onto the main board here, especially when you got onto the ballast, it used to make a hell of a racket. But definitely quieter than what it was. So no, I'm quite happy with that. I managed to get managed to get two two running nice and quiet now. Um, just well for the price of a, a um, replacement chassis for the 158. It was actually cheaper to do that than buy buy the gear towers and stuff. So because I I. I didn't know if it was the gear, gearing and the gear towers that was gone, or if it was the axles or what. So, um, so it's just a case of sort of I, I saw the chassis and thought, right, I'll let do that, and then I can use the parts off the off the old one five eight chassis um, if if I need them. But I've got spare motors now. I've got spare motor, spare gear um, gear linkages as well. So I've got some spare parts for these, but. Uh, but yeah, it's just a case of just finding the offending axle that was causing the problem. But uh, but as I say, they both run nice and nice and quiet now. So anyway, a little update. I was going to do another um, rolling stock update, but I've been so busy this weekend. Um, we're in the process of decorating and that. So I've had painting, wallpaper to strip, painting to do. So I've just not had any yet time this this week at the minute. too. I might try and do one tomorrow. Um, I'll, I'll see anyway. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do it on yet. The um, uh, the uh, the stock list yet. Not sure. 
what I'm going to do yet. But uh, if if, I, if I've got time to do one this week, I'll I'll, I'll do one. But if not, it'll probably be at the uh, the weekend. Hey, thanks for watching this little this little video. Um, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, subscribe, and uh, happy modelling.